What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper. Hey, chooching on some old Dominion tonight <clears throat> with uh, a cold, I suppose. Um, and nothing clears up sinuses and congestion <clears throat> better than some old Dominion, am I right? By Watch City Cigars. Well, Thanksgiving is upon us, gentlemen, and I do say gentlemen because looking at my statistics, I've got zero lady followers, and that's okay. It's kind of interesting. You know, you would think in anything, at least it would be somewhat diversified as far as gender goes, but on N.W. Piper's channel, it's 100% dude here. So I do say Thanksgiving is upon us, gentlemen, and I hope it's a blessed one for you. We, uh, Vicky and I just got up our <clears throat> Christmas tree uh, last uh, Friday night, this Friday, this uh, today's, yeah, Monday, and uh, we got our tree up on Friday night. Uh, we did go fake this year because we were getting it up so early. I didn't want it to be dead by Christmas. And it is our first year with the fake tree and it went pretty well. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Now, it did take some uh, putting together and you know, with me on instructions, <clears throat> Those are more like suggestions, and I throw them away until things get weird, and then I go hunting in the trash for them. Because I'm thinking, you know, how hard is this? It's just in three pieces. It's going to go easy. But I'm learning in my old age that the easier I think something's going to be, the harder it is. And I need to just start coming to the conclusion before I start any project. I don't care how simple it is is to just figure on it being the worst thing in the world <clears throat> before I start it. Because once you start it and it doesn't go like you think it should go, then you get all frustrated. But I'm done getting frustrated. I'm just going to figure it's going to be horrible. So... And you know what? A lot of it is my own fault, I suppose, because this tree came with the lights already in it. And it was designed to be incredibly simple. You put three pieces together, unfold the, the branches, and, uh, you know, plug it in. <clears throat> well, my wife let me do part of this tree by myself. And... Uh, quickly realized about 30 minutes into it she had to come in and uh, redo everything because what I was doing is is I thought they had packaged this tree and just kind of you know wrapped the lights up in it really kind of shoddy just for packaging purposes and that I had to go back through it and pull all those lights out of the tree and redo it but man they actually did a really good job and they had a system on the way they did it. And so <clears throat> the bottom of the tree, I just pulled all the lights off of it and Vicky's like, what are you doing? And I say, well, we gotta pull all these lights out to unfold the leaves and then we gotta put the lights back in there. And she goes, you're out of your mind. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you. And so she did it, you know, the right way and uh, left the lights on her section. She was right. <clears throat> so we, I just, um, I don't know. So it took some figuring, especially when you throw the instructions in the garbage. But, um, you know, uh, it turned out really good. And this thing, uh, you know, it was like $200, but I don't know. I guess a really good tree is like $100. So if you're looking at it from a financial point of view, <clears throat> Maybe it's wise, right? Because I this I don't have to keep buying them every year. But 
but I do miss the smell of uh, those real trees, you guys. I really do. And I know some of you guys are just can't stand the thought. I mean, some of you might even have a Kleenex right now just freaking out that someone would actually cut down a tree and stick it in their house. How could somebody be so cruel? Well, <clears throat> we live in Oregon, and up here in Oregon, we got more trees than we know what to do with. In fact, the reality of it is, uh, our brilliant lawmakers decided we needed to save these trees and go to plastic bags. And after a few years of going to plastic bags, they realized that we couldn't dispose of them. And now, we're back to paper bags. <laughs> because guess what? When you cut a tree down, they plant another one right next to it. And guess what? That tree grows and grows and grows and it's just a continual renewable um, source of paper and wood. And by the way, you have to thin these forests out because then you get what happens down there in California, where whole towns burn up because they don't let them go in there and thin it out. Ridiculous. Well, anyway. I should have done my part and cut one down, but we got this one instead. And looking forward to Thanksgiving with the family. Um, gonna have a full house this year. We're already getting ready for it. It's Monday night. And uh, gonna have a full house. So I think we're gonna have to go and get some of those outside torches for the patio, you know, the propane ones. So we can uh, move a lot of the family out into the back deck area. Um, gonna be a gonna be a full house. <clears throat> anyway, this old Dominion right here, it's um, it's a slow, slow burner, but it's actually really good. Um, you know, I went on a Watch City cigar kick a few years ago. And then uh, my good friend Steve at Smoking Cardboard gifted me a bunch of it. And uh, I just really enjoy it still even now. <clears throat> Watch City Cigars makes excellent uh, tobacco blends. So maybe check them out. But anyways, I uh, wanted to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And I uh, hope that you're blessed this year and you're surrounded with friends and family Someone I talked to at the store today talked to, to me and said they're having a Friendsgiving. And um, it was for people that kind of, their families are all spread out and um, they don't have that opportunity to drive and see them or whatever. And so they just kind of all get together as friends and have a Friendsgiving. And I thought that was pretty cool. So whether you're having a Friendsgiving or Thanksgiving or um, what have you, I hope it's a blessed one and um, that you guys stay safe, safe out there <coughs> and shoot you up something good. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Blessings.